So here we get to practice implicit differentiation. So in other words, we can't solve for y and just say y equals. You just need to start taking the derivative on the left side and the right side. So with this one, it's a y times a tangent. So it's going to be the product rule. Take the derivative of y first of all. And since I don't know what y is equal to, I don't know what its derivative is, so I just put this symbol there. There's the derivative of y. Then tangent is left alone. Plus, this time leave y alone and take the derivative of tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Now we're ready for this part. It's got a negative in front, so I should put negative parentheses. Again with the product rule. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And then leave the y cubed alone. Plus, leave x cubed alone, and now take the derivative of the y cubed. So that's going to be 3y squared, and then you have to do the chain rule. Take the derivative of y. That's going to be y prime. Now you might be thinking right here, why didn't he do x prime? Well, x prime means take the derivative of x with respect to x. And that equals just a 1. So right there, I could put times 1, but it's not going to change the answer, so I don't really need to put it. And then on the right side, the derivative of sine is cosine. And then do the chain rule, take the derivative of y. Now that's all well and good, but we need to solve for dy dx, or in other words, we need to solve for y prime. So everything that has a y prime, we need to put all of those terms on one side. And if it doesn't have a y prime, it needs to go to the other side. So I'm going to put everything with y prime on the left side. So I'll subtract this term. So there's already y prime tangent of x. Then I'm going to subtract this from both sides. So minus cosine of y times y prime. And then there would also be this term. Because of this, it's going to be minus x cubed 3y squared times y prime. Now, those things that don't have a y prime, move them to the right side. So this one is negative right now. So I could add this to the other side. It becomes positive 3x squared times y cubed. And also this term doesn't have y prime, so subtract that from both sides. Now we only have two more steps. The next step is, since y prime shows up in all three of these, you can factor it out. So if you factor it out, it leaves tangent of x minus cosine of y minus x cubed 3y squared. And this side, you can just leave it like that. And the last step is to solve for y prime, just divide both sides by this. So it's going to say y prime equals the numerator, just copy and paste it. And then divide both sides by this, tangent of x minus cosine of y minus x cubed and 3y squared. And then nothing can be canceled, so that's it.